Listen to Bernie and head out of uh, town. Get away from him. He'll be uh, unbearable after going right through the gate there and hitting the stumps. You reckon he hasn't enjoyed that, David Byrne? How good's that, do you reckon? <laughs> Emery is gone. It's seven for 193. New batsman is Joe Angel. David Boone has uh, almost got through with another one. Yeah, that's a leg by. He's done a very good job. This is Damien Fleming. Coming in now to bowl his seventh over. Oh! Fleming has knocked him over. Well now, eight for 197. This is some comeback. Originally, it was... A terrific performance from Australia A. And now, with uh, Gavin Robertson gone for four, bowled by Fleming. Beautiful slower ball. Wonderful spell of bowling here. And it's now eight for 197. A little drag in from outside the off stump. Robertson goes for four. Eight for 197. Fleming has his third wicket. Greg Rowell is the new batsman. Thank you, Richard McDermott, to bowl his uh, eighth over. Oh, he gets away. It was a Yorker, but he got some bat on it. Very available four runs and snakes its way down to third man. It's wide. That last ball of the last over was funny because I think it was Hervey that yelled out, come on, what's going on here? Oh, there'll be five. No, there won't. Somebody's backing up. Oh, dear. Comedy of errors here. A wide is the call. <laughs> they get no more for it. Oh, I, I, I query this one. I think I went up. I think there's four umpires in this game. Two on the three on the ground and one in the um, replay box. What happened if he hit the stumps and he'd been out of his ground? Well, just let's have another look at it. Down the leg side for wide, and Healy throws the ball in the air, right? And uh, he wasn't going for a run out. And that's where you got it wrong, Bill. Well, he was. The captain yeah, was going for a run out. Yeah, but what, what Healy is saying is that's after the event. The ball was already dead. That's a great catch. What a catch that is. Well, he came diving in, in the deep, full length. And Slater has pulled off a miraculous catch down there. Well, that's much better. That'll bring a smile to their faces because uh, the smiles are disappearing fast. Won't bring a smile to Australia's A face if that wasn't a dead ball. And he's out caught. That was a brilliant catch by uh, Michael Slater there. Here's the uh, little clip away, and he really judged perfection. It was high, and it gave him a chance, but it was never easy when you're running into the ball full length, a couple of inches above the ground. That's the end for Greg Rowell. He's out for eight. So there's a bit of action here at the uh, Melbourne Cricket Ground. It's nine for 218. This is the 50th over. Damien Fleming the bowler. Shane George on strike. Fleming. He picks up his fourth wicket. Four for 28 for Damien Fleming. That's a very good performance. He's having a wonderful summer. He backs up McGrath, McDermott, Boone and Warren. And I have to say that it's a wonderful effort by the Australian team. Well, that's a very good competitive target the Australian A team has put up there. And uh, it'll require some excellent batting from Australia if they're to win. This is the card as it looks. 226, 49.4 overs. They did well in the end to get through to their 50th over before Shane George was the last man out to Fleming. 64 for Blewett and 58 for Damian Martin. That was a wonderful partnership there between those two. 99 they put on from just 85 balls and Martin's innings was an absolute blinder. Then it just fell away a little bit. Bevan 19, Langer 14, Ponting 13, Emery 10. They all got a bit of a start and then couldn't quite go on with it. And Joe Angel did a terrific job down the bottom there with 15 from 31 balls, just when they needed to make certain they got through to their full 50 overs. The bowling figures for Australia, they came back wonderfully well there. McDermott finished with 10 overs, one made and one for 38. Fleming and McGrath, they were the kingpins there. Four for 28, 9.4 overs, and three for 41 from 10 respectively. Shane Warne, it was harshly dealt with there, but he came back well, one for 55. And David Boone, the real surprise packet down the bottom, five overs, no maiden. One for 13. So it's 227 to win, 4.54 per over. That's a nice reply. It's a good shot. 
I could uh, see one shot from Michael Slater for the rest of my life. It would um, be one like that. I suppose I'd prefer the cover drive, which is a classic, but that's beautifully played. That's Real again, and Slater taking strike. Isn't that beautiful? Just sit there and watch that shot in his cover drive and that square cut he played a bit earlier. He's straight out of the coaching manual. And that's one of them. Straight over the top. Just past the keeper. An educated edge. Good save from Shane George. Mark Taylor now taking to Blewett. Here he goes again. That one's... Uh, Look pretty well. And he's going to make the boundary. No, in fact, a terrific effort. And uh, Michael Slater might have just loafed a little bit. And that's a very good effort from Ricky Ponting. Well, if they win it by one, that'll be a vital effort. But to the progress they're making at the moment suggests it won't uh, be quite that close at the end. Really is a last ditch dive, literally. In the air and down to the ward side. What a good shot. That'll go for four. Well, Taylor there getting stuck into that one. It was short outside of stump. It gave him a bit of room. He loves him in that area. And he did what was required. And that brings up his 50. That's very well played. It's been a controlled 50 by Slater, too. One almost gets the feeling that he's decided that tonight he's going to get 100. And he missed out a few times, having got so close. Catch! Yeah, this will bring up his 50, though, as it spins away from the infield. It's a fine 50 to Mark Taylor. Very good partnership here between Taylor and Slater. That's a brilliant catch. What a good catch it is. They're the sort of things that can change a game in limited overs cricket. Jeffrey Boycott saying that the concentration just a little bit lax. And that's been the end result of it. A loose shot through the onside. Justin Langer pulls up a brilliant catch. And Mark Taylor on his way for 50. Yes, I just wonder if Mark Taylor would have kept his concentration back if it had been playing another international side like England. But playing against players who are playing the same state as him, you know, Australians just the same, he knows them all well. The less thing, you could feel it from a long way away in the commentary box that uh, his concentration had gone a little bit. He gave his wicket away there, but the 18 won't matter. They won't mind about it, they're delighted. They've got to start. One for 107. Mark War replaces Mark Taylor. 88 in the overs international for Australia and a higher score of 121. Greg Blewett, the wicket taker. And Mark War is off the mark. So the first wicket falling at 107. A great start for Australia. Very hard to maintain a run rate of around about five all the way through an innings. You're bound to run into a few dead spots, particularly under lights. Batting's just a little bit more difficult under lights. And as we've said, the white ball gets a little bit dirtier, just a bit softer. Slower ball. It's a chance for a run out with Bevan there. It'll be interesting. It was a good throw. He's called for the replay. It looked very, very close from the naked eye. We'll only really get a chance to tell, but the Australian A side looked confident. Michael Slater's gone for a long run down to the fine leg boundary. Beautiful pick up and throw by Michael Bevan. It's hit the stumps. Direct throw. Need not say any more. He's gone. Yeah, but you could see his concentration was frayed. He played beautifully, he's crossed with himself, but he could have been out two or three times before he was run out. 
who doesn't seem to grasp that you just cannot play brilliant every over. There's got to be a lull in your innings, and when you, there is that lull, that quiet period where you don't score so quick, then you've got to still hold your concentration together, and it leaves Australia two for 111. Very phlegmatic David Boone walking out the bat, a little bit different from the state of mind that Michael Slater was in as he left. Greg Blewett's got one very straight and he's gone and look at this, the game's live again. Wide open, straight delivery from Greg Blewett, stayed a little bit low, Mark War, as is his want, looking to hit it towards mid-wicket, playing across the line, it's hit him under the roll of the pad. He's not sure that he's happy with something, maybe it's himself. Well, we've seen how good this pitch is for playing shots, but we've also seen the odd ball keep low. This one just nips back, hits him about the knee roll, Funny old game, isn't it? It's all changed in 10 minutes. If you just put the kettle on for a cup of tea and come back, you'd think you wouldn't if you're watching the same game. The A team are really in it now. Three for 116. Lovely uh, view of the Melbourne skyline there. Not actually picked out uh, with lots of lights, but being very pleasant. made it he's hit that one beautifully that one's gone straight over the top and one bounce into the fence for four so all sorts of positives have come out of uh, the involvement of the A team in this Australian summer got him he's tipped it up to mid wicket and that is a big breakthrough Joe Angel has affected it boy Hayden Martin, they're all coming in. These guys have got a fantastic spirit. They would like nothing more than to come back here on Thursday. Well, they always knew that wickets would count, either at the start, the middle, or towards the end. It doesn't really matter so much when you take them. Every time one falls, it puts the pressure back on the batting team. Straight at mid-wicket. Damien Martin wasn't going to drop that. That's good bowling by Joe Angel, good line, good length. Forced the batsman to try and whip it away through the leg side. David Boone is gone for 27, it's 4 for 172. Stuart Law is the new batsman. His average of 44. Oh, and that's got away, that'll go for four, that's a big... Well, yes, that's uh, certainly very good news from Australia's point of view. I think it was probably leg bias. Yes, leg bias signalled by the umpire there. It went very, very quickly. There he goes. We go square. Beats back with point. They look for two. And they get it. Well, that's good cricket from Law. He's not had uh, a great season in the Spencer Hedges World Series. We know he's a very good cricketer, and Blewett suddenly has uh, come up and jumped over the top of him. There he scores. Seven... Nord, he got 110 against Zimbabwe, a duck 12 and 17. He's clubbed that, that's a big hit down the ground, it clears Ricky Ponting, going to go all the way. Good clean hit under pressure by Stuart Ball. Second final, Australia leading 1-0 in the best of three series. That's got to be close, he must have hit it surely. Chance for run out. Oh, nobody up the stumps. Where was the fields but the stumps? They're so disappointed with that LB. And I think they should be entitled to. He does walk across the wrong way by a hair officiating, and Joe Angel cannot believe it. Well, Joe Angel mightn't believe it, but uh, there's no point in the guys at uh, square leg or point being disappointed and not getting in there for the throw. Now, the wicketkeeper is not chasing it. There we go now. He's got it. But no one is in there. They're all looking for the LBW. Square leg, point, mid wicket. Captain Yorker through his legs this time. And they look for two. Law is very quick. They're getting it. There's a good shot from Batman. That could be out of a hit. And Angel didn't take it. We don't see the fieldsman coming in to take those throws these days. They left it for the big fella. And he couldn't gather it on the half volley. I think it struck him on the boot. Might have got him on the shin. It was a brilliant fast throw had it hit the stumps the batsman was gone 
no one in there to take the throw. None of the brilliant young fielders. You wouldn't mark Angel down as the best of your fielders. Might have hurt, but then uh, you feel no pain at the moment. That's hit up in the air. There's a man out there. Could go for six. He's backing back at six. Oh, what a time to hit a six. Stephen War went for the long hit over long on. Hayden was backing back, 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 but it went all the way for six. That was a great strike. It just went on and on and on. Just under 54,000 people here for the second final at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. That's the situation for Australia with six wickets in hand. George Bowler, it's 50. Fine knock under pressure of just 61 deliveries, 1-4 one and 1-6. One All class tonight, Steve War. We talked uh, a lot earlier and quite rightly too about the brilliance of Michael Slater how well Mark Taylor batted, but down the middle of the order, Steve Waugh is very, very good. Been a beautiful example of how to pace a game here from uh, Steve Waugh. The Australians were well behind on the run rate when he got cracking. He's done a great job. Go, Angel. Yep. So Waugh also doing a good job now because he's finding bat on ball. Oh, another miss goes through. Because he doesn't know where it is, Robinson. A horror period for him out there that's a second misfield in three attempts looks at these sprigs but the crowd even giving him a bit of a raspy here yeah. single here they got covered now played very well this first been a magnificent partnership under pressure scoring better than a runner ball and haven't given any chances and that's the situation now for Australia to win the Benson Hedges World Series final and the series for 94-95 Steve Waugh has struck. Go through. We'll go all the way for four. And that's a great victory for Australia. They really have showed their class here today. They were on the rack after 25 overs early this afternoon. Their bowl was McGrath and Fleming hit back. And in the end, it was a very comfortable and well-deserved victory. That was a great performance from the Australian side, led by Mark Taylor at the top there. He and Michael Slater put on a very good partnership at the start there. 50 and 56 to Taylor and Slater respectively, 107 the partnership, and then 57 from 50 balls from Steve Waugh and Stuart Law, four for 229 with six balls to spare. The bowling figures for Australian A, a wicket for Joe Angel and two for Greg Blue, who bowled pretty well once again. A very good match here, good contest to follow on the excellent one up in uh, Sydney on Tuesday. The Australians 2-0 in the final series from the MCG for the moment. It's goodbye. This has been another presentation from Nine's Wide World of Sports.